Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Um Thanksgiving version? I don't know. Anyway, if you haven't figured it out by now, stripes are my favorite kind of fabric. I love it. I love it. It's fabulous. And it's um it's really bold, you know? Makes me happy. So I'm going to talk to you about some Thanksgiving things I've experienced since today's the day, right? You'll realize that um, I live in England and over here, they don't really celebrate that. They celebrate, um, let's see, there's a bonfire night and that's about it. Uh, and you know, different country different you know strokes different folks right you know that's the way it works so we all go to different countries and you experience what you what you will and uh, i know that mm, probably most of you will not go where i've been so i'll just explain to you what i experienced and you know you can decide what you think <laughs> but um uh, I was in the military once and when you're in the military and it comes around to the holidays, a lot of time you'll find that um, there's a lot of people that have nowhere to go. Um, they don't have family to go back to. They don't have anyone to spend the holiday with. So they're basically considered orphans for the holiday. And uh, they'll usually get a TV dinner and they'll be all by themselves in their little dorm rooms and it's sad and I was one of them I remembered being that one because you know I couldn't really go home uh, because my parents are uh, um, yeah long story they're not the most pleasant people in the world let me just put it that way so uh, and I mean, please don't hear that and think, oh, she just doesn't get along with him because she's a brat. No, there's a lot more to it than that. Uh, <clears throat> so once I left the military, uh, I happened to be stationed, uh, near Fort, um, oh gosh, Fort, Fort Hood. Yeah. And, um, that's in Colleen, I believe. <laughs> I'm glad it's been so many years since I've been there, but. Anyway, it was one at Colleen in Texas, and I happened to be in Austin, Texas, which is not that far away. Now, I would go to the local goth industrial club, and that was where I lived every weekend. I was there. And if there was something going on during the week, and I could make it, I would go. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm going to go. If it has goth on it, I'm there. Uh, <laughs> I can't help it. But... I happened to be there and I know a lot of the army guys would come down from the base to go to the goth club because they liked the industrial music. They just did. And you could always tell which ones were the army guys. You just, you can. I don't know if it's just being in the military, you can pick out your, you know, your, your fellow, what would you call them, initiates into the military, but, you know, you just kind of, you get a mannerism about you, and a certain way you hold your yourself, and um, I think it's just the universal way that the military likes to break us down, and then likes to, you know, build us back up. That's in their image, or at least that's what they say. Uh, but I knew a lot of uh, army guys that would go there, go dancing, and then, you know, I wouldn't see them again or occasionally sometimes um you know we would go like out like getting well there were a lot of 24-hour restaurants in uh, austin so sometimes uh we'd go to this these like quirky little places and um one of them it had uh i don't know how to explain this b best but you have to picture like a busy busy like intersection okay you have an overpass, you have an underpass, you have a middle pass. I, I don't know. I mean, it's just, it's really crazy. Okay. And then on the side, you have these roads that go veer off to the side. And then you have the side roads that are two lanes. I am glad I was not driving. Uh, I don't know that I could have. I, I, no, mm, no, but 
my friends could, so they would drive me and I would put on my seatbelt and hope. And just try not to pay attention to the other crazy drivers, because, you know, yeah. I don't care what country you're in, the drunks will come out on Friday night, Saturday night, and sometimes Sunday night. Um, yeah. So we had these quirky little restaurants, right? And there was one, I wish I could remember the name of this place. It was so cool, though. They were always playing, like, punk music, and um, it was right next to a hotel. It was really close to this um, Mexican, uh, like, supermarket. Uh, God, what was it called? Fiesta. Fiesta Grocery Store. It's really cool. So, I mean, if anybody can think of that restaurant and happens to, I don't know, somehow in the internet ether, live in Austin, Texas, or have lived there, and remembers the name of this restaurant, please leave a comment and let me know, because I'd really like to remember the name of that place. They had the greatest stuff. And it wasn't just, like, the food. It was the atmosphere. It was everything. It was really cool. So, yeah. Um, and we would go, and we would, you know, hang out there sometimes, and then, you know, just go home. And uh, that was that was that right uh, so I did get to know a few uh, and um, sometimes they'd bring their like their girlfriend or like you know friends or whatever and we'd all just kind of hang out so when Thanksgiving came around I knew some of them would not have a place to go and they were you know they were either just too proud to ask or um, they were just gonna like tough it out and they're like no I can handle it without this I'm like oh come on so mind you I don't have a lot of money but I do have a lot of ideas and so I invited four of them four initially four okay just remember that this was a bit of an imposition but at the time I just wanted to do the right thing and I thought it was it was cool right so I decided let's go get some uh, rock Cornish uh, gaming hens. They're like these little tiny little chickens. They're like miniature chickens. They're like this big. Um, but they'd be about, I don't know, three dollars, two, three dollars at the time. And I mean, you get the whole thing. And what if I made an entire miniature turkey? It's not a turkey, I know. But like a miniature turkey dinner for each one. It wouldn't be too expensive. And it would cook fast, and it would taste really good, because I'm good with herbs and stuff. I will probably get into a cooking video or two at some point. But I love to um, cook for other people. And, and this is, of course, before all my fibro set in and everything, which really limits me, and I hate it, because I love cooking for people, but it's so hard now. But I digress. Back to happy. <laughs> um... The people came over, right, and um, had some surprise guests. Uh, <laughs> and it was people that just, they brought along with, because they were just like, well, they're orphans too. And I was like, yeah, I know, we're there's so many chickens. So uh, we did a couple of emergency runs, and we got what we needed. And uh, I was in the kitchen cooking for hours. But I did have some help, and it was kind of cool having, like, these, you know, rather um, strong uh young people, you know, I want to say young people, they were the same freaking age as me, just about. I, I don't know, I'm 45, I'm talking like they're, you know, anyway, ignore me. But I made the, the dinners for them and everything, we even made desserts, everything, right? And, um, <laughs> try not to laugh, but I remember I said we were low on money. Yeah, the day before, the day before Thanksgiving, I lived with a really, mm, I wanted to trust him, but needless to say, uh, all of our furniture got repossessed the day before. And I had a bag just to keep the bed, so we kept the bed, and uh, we had a futon. And that's all we had. So we had lots of floors, floor room, and we had lots of dishes, and lots of, you know, like little chickens. And so, if you will, try to imagine all of this gathered together, and everybody there was pretty much into the same kind of music. So it was like a goth Thanksgiving and every single one of us that were there were actually very thankful for what we were getting and we were thankful for everything around us, the surroundings, the people. It was, it was a recognition of something good, you know, like, I don't know. I just, what it has become when I, right before I left, at least it wasn't what I wanted to be, you know? 
it it represents uh, overindulgence and too much capitalism, consumerism. I'm not sure. Pick one, but you know. Uh, but you know that day that I had with those those friends, it was just it's one from the memory book for the memory book. You know, you don't forget that kind of thing. And um, I don't know. It just felt like the right thing to do. You know, um, just, you know, invite all the people that had nowhere else to go into the house and, uh, you know, give them food. That, that's just, you know, what I wanted to do. And, um, it worked out really well. Uh, mashing that many potatoes though. Wow. Uh, all I can say is, um, if I had known the instant potatoes that they made at the time, some of the little more expensive kind tasted pretty good like pretty much the same as what i was slaving over i might have gone instant i don't know but maybe i just i wanted to share with you what i think is a story of of positivity of thanksgiving something that maybe you can tell people about let's say it's me you know i don't care but you know you can say that you know they're and, and I'm not the only one, you know, there are loads of people over there that do things for other people, but it's like what's popularized is the over, overdue. Uh, and there is a lot of truth to it too. I can't say that there isn't. Um, I, my family, oh, wow. <laughs> I will tell you about my, um, okay. I, I went to one family get together with um, my family. Thanksgiving was, uh, ooh. I'm, I'm guessing, because I'm trying to remember a very long time ago, so forgive me, but it was, I believe, three turkeys, two hams, there was one something else. I It was some other meat thing. Uh, I don't remember which one what it was but it was something else um so there's like three four five six main meats right wow then you had the stuffing now i don't know if you're used to like if you can picture this you know the um you go to the grocery store and they have those silver oven pans that you buy to put a whole turkey in well my family uh at the time had two of those full of stuffing plus there was still stuffing in the birds um i mean they just went to town that that i mean and they said this was normal so i was like okay um so that was stuffing right and then you have your um nod to vegetables which you know is it's not bad you know you have the green bean casserole which when it's done correctly is actually really good i highly recommend it um, it's, uh, was it cream of mushroom, dried onions, green beans, mm, mix and layer, basically. Uh, and you know, when it cooks together, I just, I don't know, there's some magic there. It's actually really good. Um, there was sweet potato pie or sweet potatoes in general or yams, people called all sorts of things. But basically, it'd be cut up chunks, and it would be either from the can in its own syrup, and then they would put marshmallows in it to roast it in the oven. I, you know, more sugar on top of sugar. Let's caramelize the sugar. Sure, why not? Okay, sugar. Um, and then we have that, and then let's see, there was uh, mashed potatoes. Okay, mountains of mashed potatoes. Not kidding. Uh, they had cornbread, they had rolls, and these are like, um, you could buy the rolls at Walmart, you know, they're usually, um, you know, they're really like partially baked. Imagine, uh, oh gosh, like, uh, at Tesco or Sainsbury's, they had the garlic bread, but imagine the bread's a little bit cheaper, uh, and it's not a, a baguette, it's just like individual rolls are kind of like in a stack. And they have a little cut in each one where you're supposed to put a tab of butter in each one. Um, and that's basically how we dole out the, the uh, rolls. Um, and if you ask for one without butter, you get looked at very strangely. 
yeah, I was constantly getting looked at very strangely. I figured I'd had enough butter everywhere else. I was like, dear God, can I just have something without butter? And they looked at me like I was a weirdo. They were right, I am a weirdo. But, does everything have to be with butter? Jeez. Okay, so, you had that, da, 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 vegetables, uh, what else? Some um, Cranberries. I am nuts about cranberries. I do love cranberry sauce. But it's like, it's a love-hate between the canned cranberry sauce and the fresh cranberries. I like both of them. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what it is. But um, they're nummy. And, and really, when you mix it all up, it's, uh, it's good in a smaller portion. You know, like you don't have to go crazy. Uh, it's not like the food isn't going to be there tomorrow and the next day and the next day and if somebody is really 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 trying to save money they'll freeze it and then you'll have it the next week the next month yeah not kidding um <laughs> my mom the adoptive one uh, had I think every possible size uh, what do you call it stuff a uh, tupperware that was ever made <laughs> she had these big gigantic ones that were square she had the circle ones in that size she had like this other weird shape one in the same size a portion and just went all the way down to like the tiniest little freaking tupperware i've ever seen in my life it was like what does that hold like a corn cob like a corn kernel it was dinky i'm thinking like about that round at the top and about that deep so yeah my mama came home with every single one of those things full of something including the littlest one I, I'm just like my mama has Russian doll Tupperware okay that's something <laughs> I mean, I, I couldn't believe it one night when she asked me to go get some Tupperware out, and it was so much. Oh my gosh. Like, I, I'd never seen so much Tupperware in my life. I didn't even know half of it existed. And she had all the freaking lids. All the lids. How many of you can say you have every matching lid to all your Tupperware? I dare you. Anybody here? To me, unless they're attached, I lose them. I'll lose them. I end up using like, uh, what do you call it? Plastic roll to cover the top sometimes. Aluminum foil if I have it. Or uh, is it aluminum? My mother used to say aluminum. I'm not sure. That's the, the bad mom. Uh, I think I'm just going to say bad mom, good mom. It's easier, you know? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so she'd put all of that stuff in the fridge. And we would have a rendition of Thanksgiving dinner for the next week. <sighs> mm -hmm. But, you know, I understand she was trying to save money. Like, a lot of money. Because she didn't have very much, so, you know. I left her with um, what I could uh, before I left her over here. Uh, yep. And, um, yeah. Let me think. What else has happened on Thanksgiving that was funny? Oh, you will hear a lot of stories. A lot of stories being told. Um, it's usually a lot of braggadocio. And you'll have a lot of, um, a lot of arm ball. Uh, I'm sorry, football. Um, I'm gonna get my mm, reamed for that one. But it is arm ball. They carry it. It's only football one time. One time. Come on. I know this. I grew up with it. I know. I saw it. It was the only time it was ever touched by the foot. So why call it football? That's one of the ironies. One of the things I don't get about the UK and the US. And I'm sure you guys don't either. Okay. <laughs> Our football is touched by a foot one time during the entire freaking game okay your football 
is touched throughout the entire goddamn game, and we call it soccer. Where's that come from? I don't know. Anyway, I think I've let this go long enough. Um, I can't think of much else that I... Um, if I do, I'll just add it on later. But, uh, yeah, I hope you like this. Uh, I hope it's been informative. I hope you have fun. Um, and I hope you can, you know, if you are celebrating Thanksgiving, I hope you can keep in mind what's important and give to people if you can, okay? Give of yourself. I swear, it is the best feeling. And don't do it for accolades and don't do it, you know, so you can have like likes or, you know, viewers or, you know, whatever the associated, um, what is it, feedback you would get on social media. Just do it because it's going to help some somebody or just do it because it will brighten someone's day. <laughs> you know, like somebody somewhere is going to need your help at some point, you know, and at some point you're going to need their help. So just a thought. Anyway, I am so glad to have had you in my, my rainbow room. Um, it is kind of autumnal now, obviously, because of Thanksgiving. So I'm going to go there and be a little cheesy. Um, I have a rainbow room plus an autumnal room to celebrate Thanksgiving. Um, even though I don't. But, yeah. And again, this is just dry skin. It's driving me crazy. Every time I look, I see it. So I don't know if it's bugging you guys, but oh, I can't stop looking at it. All right. Anyway, um, love you. Please subscribe below. And, you know, share my channel if you like what I have to say. I'd really appreciate the feedback. Uh, comment below. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next episode.